Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Hygiene video. So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to run through my top four mods that I love using in Hygiene. Now I've chosen these four mods because they're not game breaking mods, but they do improve the quality of life of Hygiene. So you can use these mods without making the game too overpowered and so you can still enjoy the game, but just make things a little bit easier for yourselves. So first of all, we're going to go through this item here which is the storage crate. Now you can store many items in these crates. So if you have a collection of say pipes, for instance, like this, you can store these in there. Now, just something to bear in mind, if you do try and drop them like this, it doesn't tend to work just because of the hitbox. But if you just jump and drop it, as you can see, it's gone in and it would also label it for you as well. Now it has got a separate button here, which is toggle infinite mode. So you'll just be able to store an infinite amount of pipes in there. As you can see, you can store more than one in there, perfectly like this. And if you press this button here, you can just withdraw one pipe. So instead of having a whole load of items that are obviously going to put strain on your FPS and stuff like that with the game loading in, you don't have to worry about that too much. It does also work with bars and obviously resources as well. So we have a shard bar here and we can just drop them in without jumping and as you can see we have the number of 224 now that is the exact weight of this bar so instead of counting every bar you have it will just count the weight now something to bear in mind when you are doing resource bars with this so for instance if i grab this one here which weighs say 56 as you see when we add this one to here it will add the 56 on and then when we try and withdraw it instead of withdrawing two individual bars we will just click the button it will withdraw one bar and it basically it's merged them two bars together so if we have 280 here and we'll just quickly grab the rest of these ones and we'll add them all together and you'll see exactly what i mean so we've now got 336 and then we'll put another one in here as well and we have 392 so if we withdraw that bar it will weigh 392 so this is quite handy in um, multiple ways so if you have plenty of bars sort of lying around and you don't want to put them in the smelter so then click the smelter and produce a bar because you're using that smelter for something else for instance uh, maybe you've got a reader and you're trying to get a weight of 100 and you don't want to sort of empty it and then you know use it and then put that bar back in you can just use one of these storage crates to basically merge bars and resources together so the next mod in my list is these teleporters now these do look kind of overpowered but to be honest they are an absolute lifesaver when it comes to traveling around the map so basically what you are doing is making your own fast travel system now when you have these you will need to grab yourself one of these teleporter tuners as well this will set the channels for the different teleporters. So for instance, as you can see here, if we use the tuner on this icon here, we can change the channel. I'll put this one back at zero and this one at one. Now I have selected the one at one and just teleport straight to Bridgeport and do all of my shopping. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, that's great, but it means you have to do individual items, but you don't because it also works when you have a cart in tow as well so just go for the teleport as you can see my cart's here as well so we can load that full of items and come back to our main base now this teleporter here is set at channel zero and this one just puts me to ice helm but the good thing about this is if you want more than one teleporter at your base you can but you can just literally use one so if we change this one to zero I can just go into this one and it will teleport me obviously back to this one because I unfortunately left this one to zero. So we'll just pick this one up and disable it. And then as you can see, zero, this should take us straight to Ice Helm. And then if for instance, I wanted to go from Ice Helm to Bridgeport, I can select the channel that I have for Bridgeport, which is one, jump into the teleport and here we are at Bridgeport. And then I can just go back to zero and I can bow back to my home base. So it's as simple as that. Obviously it will get a little bit complicated. You might need to make a note of what channel goes where 
if you only have one teleporter but that's completely up to you whether you have one or you have more than one so the next thing we are going to run through is these teleporters here now these are teleporter hooks that as you can see hook onto your conveyor belt now these for me are one of the best mods in the game um, in the fact that it reduces your conveyor belt usage which obviously will reduce the amount of frame rate droppers you get especially if you've got big builds with huge amount of resources these work really really well so we just set our teleporter to channel 2 now and we'll go sort of underground which is all the way over there and i will showcase exactly how these work perfectly because obviously if i didn't have that teleporter i'd have to go from all the way over there at south hope build pipes and conveyor belts all the way up here which is where my main base is just to have my sorting system if we hop on down here i've just got you know i've just quickly made a very quick setup just to showcase this this is the other one as well so just a couple of things to run through we have a send and receive button so obviously the resources you want to send obviously you want to push send and this will turn blue if you click on receive it will turn orange they're so quite easy just to glance and check what it's doing you can also have multiple of these set up and if you just click down here at the bottom you can rename it so you know exactly what each one is doing so let's just hook up to this pipe quickly and we will see it all in action so you see it's plodding through the harvester and then going straight into the teleporter and as you can see it's uh, disappearing into the void but if we head on back here as you can see it's working like a charm it is going through as we intended and now this perfectly leads up to my next favorite mod which is this one here and you're probably saying well that looks like a, a harvester or something that reduces the size of the dirt chunks which we already have but no it isn't so if you have a setup like this for a for, for instance and you're not really interested in your gems and your other resources that you are going to get so what you can do is you can grab this deletion hook which anything that enters from the conveyor will be deleted which is actually perfect for what we want so we just pop that there and as you can see perfect timing them gems have just come in here and they have been deleted into the void which is also another perfect thing if you've got just added resources you don't want and obviously as we all know with Hydroneer, if you have too many resources, it will affect your frame rate. So if you want to avoid all of that, you can use the deletion hook to just get rid of all your unwanted items nice and easily. So there we go, everyone. There's my four top mods that I love using just to improve your quality of life in Hydroneer. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have, if you are interested in installing mods um, and you want me to do a video about that, it's really nice and simple. Just drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to do a video for you. It's been Kryptonite here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.